back in the mid 2000s, there was no one better to be in the world than Dubai. 30% of the world's cranes were in Dubai, and every project that was launched was out doing the one before. It felt like the gold rush of the Wild West. It's exactly what it felt like. One of the biggest building projects of Sheikh Mohammed's reign is the Palm Jumeirah. This entirely man-made island, four times the size of Hyde Park, was built from 200 million cubic meters of sand dredged from the bottom of the sea. A-list celebrities like the Beckhams rush to buy holiday homes here. And properties on the Palm now have a combined value of over 2.2 billion pounds. Does it push? Up and down. Well, why not ahead? <laughs> One of the first residents to move onto the Palm in 2005 was millionaire estate agent Paul Christodoulou. Did you pick any fruit this morning? Oh, you're taking it all already from the weekend. What? You can't take those, they're, they're too green. Paul swapped his job managing a nightclub in Essex for a life in Dubai. And he's one of the biggest winners from Sheikh Mohammed's building drive. Everyone in some way benefits from the groundwork that Sheikh Mohammed and his forefathers have done. We live in an autocratic state with a benevolent dictator. But it benefits me, and that's only how I can see things. For the kids, Growing up, this is amazing. The fact that we're able to live on the beach, that's most of the reason why we live here. The lifestyle then, that we offer the children growing up is something that you can't really get anywhere else. It's just so different. The fact that you are literally... I, mean, I, I, can, I can water the sea from my garden. It's, it's that close, you know, it's amazing. Do you mind me asking what the price range here is? What you bought this for, what they're currently going for? We paid just under £800,000 for the property back in 2004-05. It went up to its peak of around 3.2. It's now currently valued at around the 2.2 million mark. So you made about a million and a half. It's not too shabby. No, but you know, even the other day, I, someone made an offer to buy the property and um, my wife would divorce me straight away anyway. But we wouldn't sell because it's home. Bye. That's See you later on. Okay. See ya. Bye, Alicia. I like cars. Dubai likes cars. Paul spent his first year in Dubai buying and selling properties, making nearly a million pounds in personal profit, before taking up a job in the industry full time. This is one of our hotels. So not this building, not this building, this one here. He climbed the ladder quickly and now runs one of the city's largest estate agents. On his books, he's got half a billion pounds worth of luxury villas, penthouse apartments, and five-star hotels. Target, who are doing really well. My dear friend Abel sitting here right now, he managed to convert a 240,000 pounds in commission in three months.